opportunities opportunities and challenges of business in 21st century opportunities and challenges in business in 21st century in 21st century here the business has got lot of changes business has got lot of changes the process in each and every aspect there is lot of changes and it has facilitated lot of profits also benefits also and at the same time it has given open up new markets it has opened up new markets now where uh, being an indian economy is a developing economy here uh, we have got new economics we can enter into the another countries also here we have uh, indian economy is also open up their doors and investors are invited for inviting their money in the inviting their money in the uh, country itself so here these these provided uh, these provided opportunities at the same time it is provided with challenges also so in 21st century they have provided these challenges also to meet the customers to to satisfy the customer to minimize the costs of the products so these are the opportunity with these are the opportunities and with this uh, with these aspects of the business we can we can grab the opportunities and at the same time at the same time we grabbing the opportunities is not only enough at the same time we can we can get the we, we can get the challenges as well as so for so we have to face that challenges so first we'll we'll know about the we'll know about the opportunities so we'll know about the opportunities as i told it has opened up new doors new doors of market so we can we will have a lot of marketing ma marketing economies india has opened the doors in the liberalization so it has opened the doors so here there is a free trade across the world here is a free trade and we can we can purchase from anywhere and we can sell our products and services to any any part of the world so that is the free flow of business free flow, flow of trade so it is facilitated so it has given lot of opportunities so here uh, here they have given lot of opportunities so here uh, we will learn about the what are the opportunities we have got so first what is lpg so lpg means here uh, l means liberalization liberalization P means privatization, privatization, and G means globalization, globalization. So here, with these three effects, privatization, globalization, and privatization, so we, uh, India was, before, before that, India in 1991 reforms, India was, is a closed economy, India is a regarded as a closed economy so with the effect of when they opened up in the 1991 reforms so with the effect of this liberalization liberalization of trade liberalization of trade and liberalization of business activities and privatization they have invited other people's uh, foreign investors so with that uh, and the globalization so globally so the um, people come from other countries also so it has benefited lot it has created lot of opportunities it has given with the with the introduction of these three things uh, liberalization privatization and globalization so people have got lot of employment opportunities people have got lot of business opportunities so it has benefited a lot it has benefited a lot that with the effect of lpg so it has changes which are, it has made lot of changes which ultimately changed the picture of indian business economy it has changed completely drastically it has changed and next increase in size and diversification so with the invention of this 21st century so um, uh, here it has changed a lot so we can when global market center we can enter into the global markets so we can increase we can increase the size also we can expand our business we can expand our business so when we when we allow for the free trade so we can do business in other countries also we can do business in other country and we can expand our change when we have more and subsidies when encouragement is there so definitely a business firm can extend its operations so they can improve their size and not only that they have the diversification they have the diversification of this business operations they can diversify their products they can they can innovate new ideas they can innovate new products they can innovate new products for the satisfaction of ultimate consumer so this is what the helps so here we can increase the size as well as diversification of products so that is what the opportunities we got with the effect of this globalization and uh, liberalization and privatization next uh, 
increase in per capita income so indian uh, per capita uh, india is uh, treated as one of the third uh, so, sorry one of the fourth largest economy where per capita income is so with that definitely the per capita income is also increased so per capita income is individual income when individual income is increases there will be the there will be the economic economic development of a country will be also increases so here the employment they can the income income is also generated law uh, and income is generated more and so here the employment facilities can be also happened with that definitely the in, increase in per capita income is also one of the major factor so to improve the standard of living of a particular country so definitely the increase in the per capita income is uh, a per capita income is also one of the major thing so here india is recorded as the fourth largest global uh, income income growth growth rate it has reached the fourth largest largest economy in the world and here uh so here increase the, that is what helped actually that is what helped with this thing so here we can increase it has increased the standard of living of the india standard of living of the india with the invention of these things invention measures of different uh, here the, with the introduction of this internet and next e-commerce so e-commerce a gateway to the global markets so e-commerce is also one of the very important factors so e-commerce with the effect of e-commerce so here we can purchase and sell uh, we can purchase and sell our products through it is not limited to the geo it is not limited to our own country we can purchase from other countries also so here third world third world countries also they can get the products which are not produced in, in their country so they can use those products also so here technology is also came and here we can get the uh, customer satisfaction and we can expand with a with this e-business e a business can expand expand not only its limitations and we can be it can be expanded beyond that so here barriers can be eliminated with the effect of this e-commerce with the effect of it and it is a it is like a gateway to the it is regarded as a gateway to the global markets we can enter into the global markets also we can participate in this global markets and where we can get a more income more income for our products next technological advancement so here with that effect also we got the technological we have changed a lot we, we got the new technology new technology of business processing business activities we got the very technological technology has changed technology we have achieved lot of technological advancements so advanced we have we have go we have got into the different types of technological advancements next expansion of financial services so we have expanded financial services like credit facilities and banking facilities and market stock markets so we have facilitated a lot of financial services we have facilitated the financial services for the business people so it has expanded it is not limited to the one country it has expanded to different across the world so that is what it facilitated expansion of financial services next automation of business processes automation of business problem uh, 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 business process so here PPA uh, business process automation is also one of the important thing which has changed so here they have automated they have automated the business processing activities so with that also it has helped a lot next next growing mergers and acquisitions and foreign collaborations so here to improve their they expand their business they expand their business they have grow they it has they grown lot of mergers has happened to expand their business to expand their business and not only acquisitions is also happened so to get the market share to get the market share to give the product at very low cost and they, they do they did these activities that is mergers and acquisitions so they want to give they want to expand their business activities they want to move forward they want to move forward and they want to give the the product and services at low cost so that is why they have done this thing growing of mergers and acquisitions have happened and not only that for the technology advancement and the for, the, for going to the for reaching the global consumers and uh, entering into the global market they have they have done that um, foreign collaborations also they collaborated with the foreign companies also that is what they did so this is with that these effects there the new opportunities was 
opened with the with mergers acquisitions and foreign collaborations we have, we started we started entering into the new markets so new new markets were opened so next this is the last opportunity that is scope for international entrepreneurship so here with these opportunities with entering into the uh, internationally trade international trade so definitely we can have the scope of we can have the scope of international entrepreneurship we can enter into the new uh, new markets and we can establish our business units in other countries also internationally so here the entrepreneurship can be developed we can we can merge we can we can produce lot of entrepreneurs which are globally they can do the business operations so here global international entrepreneurship is also possible let's say because the scope is also there to add uh, to for the international entrepreneurship so these are the so these are the opportunities we'll get from the uh, globalization we'll get from the business of we these are the opportunities we are facing in the business in 21st century so these are the opportunities